A lot of the preparation, I mean, it was very last minute. Like we'd have a complete rewrite of a scene and it would, and it would be the day before, minutes before action. And I remember that last scene where it was supposed to be Connie, my character, just being um, sort of humiliating Buddy. And I could see that Buddy has just decided, like, this isn't how the scene is going to go down <laughs> at all. And, and I could just, I walked into the scene and just saw him just sitting in the chair, like, completely psyched up. I'm like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to have to completely reformulate how I'm going to do this. <laughs> I gotta come clean with you about something. What? So I told you about my brother, yeah? <laughs> something happened. I don't know exactly what. <laughs> my brother's been arrested. He's being held at Rikers Island. You could get killed in there. The first meeting, there was no script, and then I was kind of, if I like someone and I like the idea of something, I'm, I'll say I'm committed right there and then. And uh, Josh and Benny were saying, like, just watch out, like, be careful what you say, because we'll write a script in six weeks and it'll be ready. And I'm like, cool, yeah, whatever. And then and six weeks later, the script came back. Well, the first version of the script, which is very different to the movie. But even then, it was like, wow, they're really amazing writers. There was probably nine months I shot Lost City of Z during the period, and they would be sending kind of little scenes and character backgrounds and stuff. So it was quite an organic process. I sort of saw how they were building the story and building the world. I was pretty comfortable with where they wanted to go with it. Nick, it's good that we should talk about this. Uh, this is good stuff we're talking about. Excuse me. You Peter? Yes, I am. We're in the middle of... Nick. Hello. Nick, we're what are you doing? We're in the middle of something here. We're in the middle on, of the exam. Up. Hey, That's hey, Nick, about Nick. The stuff and the, the pan and the wait, chicken. Wait, 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 please. How Nick. would you like it if I made you cry? How would you like that? So much of how the Safdies work, I love that blurred line between sort of first-time actors and people who are playing kind of versions of themselves. And I think it brings out something in me. I think it's... Uh, it just makes it easier to kind of... You know, you're playing with someone who's not performing, essentially. I mean, it just... It, it allows you to not really perform either. You just kind of, you just assimilate. My brother is mentally handicapped. He's the bucket of paint fell off a construction truck and hit him on the head. I'm gonna come on one second. It's an emergency, all right? Please, just give me five minutes. It's funny when you get asked about a character and, and you think that, that you have, you're playing a character specifically so people can empathize with it. And I don't look for a character which you can really empathize with. I just look for characters that are interesting. With the Safdies, I really wanted to do something that felt very wild and out of control and I just remember saying heaven knows what and just and I just think like wow like no one is operating at this pace and also with this level of sensitivity I don't know anyone who's doing anything like what they're doing. <laughs>